more than 2,000 years ago. As a rite to awaken the hibernating heavenly dragon, races were held on the fifth day of the fifth lunar month of the Chinese calendar. The summer, solstice. The first participants were superstitious Chinese villagers, who celebrated the fifth day of the fifth lunar month of the Chinese calendar. Dragon boating also commemorates the life and death of Chinese patriot and poet Ku Yuan, who lived from 340 to 278 BC. Dragon boat racing is one of Hong Kong's most colorful, competitive summer events. This traditional Chinese water sport is held during the Tuaneng Festival, occurring annually around May or June on the Western calendar. In 1991, the International Dragon Boat Federation, IDBF, was established along with a set of institutional rules and regulations governing the sport. Now, dragon boat racing is practiced in over 60 countries around the world, including China, who boasts 50 million dragon boaters. The Hong Kong Dragon Boat Festival draws thousands of athletes from different countries every summer. A dragon boat is long and narrow with a decorative Chinese dragon head tail and scales printed on the hull. Originating among fishing communities along the Yangtze River in southern central China however, dragon boat racing fell out of fashion during the Chinese Cultural Revolution. 1966 to 1976. The festival's main elements now popular the world over are racing long, narrow wooden boats decorated with dragons and eating sticky rice balls wrapped in bamboo leaves, called Zongzi in Mandarin, and Yung in Cantonese. The people loved Ku Yuan very much, and raced out in their fishing boats in a desperate attempt to save him. They beat on drums and splashed their oars in the water, trying to keep the fish and water dragons away from his body. To honor his soul and to ensure it didn't go hungry, they scattered rice into the water. Since then, the tradition of dragon boat racing has continued to honor the memory of Ku Yuan. For many centuries it was a violent race with crew members throwing stones and striking at other boats with cane sticks. Onlookers also played an active role in the race. Fans on the riverside would cheer and give gifts of red and green silk to the boat from their region, but would greet opposing boats with angry shouts and a hail of stones. It was thought unlucky if at least one drowning did not occur. Culture Trip launched in 2011 with a simple yet passionate mission to inspire people to go beyond their boundaries and experience what makes a place, its people and its culture special and meaningful, and this is still in our DNA today.